Hello and welcome to Will It's Roll. We have many more cars today. Uh, this week's theme was front wheel drive cars. And up first, we have the Fiat 500, a bath. Uh, I saw this one mentioned a few times in the comment section and Kaylee wanted to see me roll this because she, she actually quite likes this car. So uh, I'm, I'm going to give it a go. I do quite like the Fiat 500 actually. Uh, it's a fa fairly nice car to drive. I mean, I've said many times I don't like too powerful front wheel drive cars, but this one's sort of small and fun and you can sort of throw it around in the corners uh, and it's, it's not too bad to drive. So we're going to see how well it rolls. Uh, the first, that was the first attempt with the car and well it's a little bit more twitchy than I was expecting. I apologise for the cameras. I completely forgot to change it from the uh, slow spin or whatever. So you get a slightly different angle for, <laughs> for that attempt. I think this is the, the second try and ooh, it's looking a little bit more likely. I wasn't expecting to have too many problems with these cars as I managed to crash it into the wall there at sort of very low speeds. Obviously I've been a huge amount of problem with these cars because they are fairly narrow, fairly tall and okay they're not that fast but still relatively fast and there we go that is the Fiat 500 rolled and spun and crashed into the wall a little bit. Um, yeah these cars shouldn't take too long um, because yeah it's to do with centre of gravity again and because these are fairly small hatchbacks they're not the stupidly wide supercars that we've had before, which makes them a damn sight easier to roll. Up next we have the Mini. Uh, this is the John Cooper Works Mini. I am not a fan of the modern Mini, I'm going to be honest. Uh, if you're going to buy a Mini, you should get the old one. It might blow up and fall apart all the time, but at least it'll be a damn sight cooler than these new ones. The John Cooper Works one, it's relatively fast uh, for a hot hatch. I'm just not really a fan of this one in particular. So we are going to roll. I would use the old Mini, but the old Mini's not in Forza 4 which is a real shame. It isn't Horizon. Maybe maybe Horizon video at some point. Uh, anyway, we're going to have a go at trying to roll this Mini. Um, this one wasn't too hard. I mean, you can see their first attempt, okay, it is a little bit wide. I don't think it's quite as tall as the Fiat. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's probably the most uh, most onto wheels. I'm not sure if that's the correct... I need to think of a word for that. Uh, the most onto wheels a car has been and not fallen over other than possibly the uh, Subaru and Pretza 22B that kept getting the bodywork caught. Um, this one, again, it was about five minutes, and there, that one that's looking a little bit more likely, and again, I found that blooming wall. That, I wish that tyre bundle would move out of the way. I, that's so annoying. Uh, and again, it keeps going on to two wheels on that on that corner. Like The two directions seem to really favour different cars. Different cars sort of roll on either one direction or the other. It's, it's a weird thing, this curve. I think it, well, it may depend how I hit it or the, how the car set up. But the Mini did roll and it was quite a spectacular one, I have to say. <laughs> Doing like end over end flips. Uh, so that was that. Uh, that's two cars down. Now I saw all in the comment section, I'd done these first two and I was looking for a third car today and I saw somebody had suggested that we should do the cars, sort of like the ultimate hot hatches that we named. So it was off, since these hadn't taken very long, it was off to the garage to find some of the cars and we have the, the ultimate modern one from Daniel which was the Volkswagen Golf GTI. Um, these ones, I was actually expecting these to be kind of tricky. Uh, I mean some of these are fairly wide uh, and they are very low in some of them. And, some of them's case. God, there. I can't speak today. I don't know why. It's not that late. <laughs> yes, yeah, so some of them are sort of fairly wide, fairly low. I mean, these are a bit sporty. However, they are still hatchbacks, uh, and this is the centre of gravity, really. That's it. That plays the biggest part in this. Second attempt with a golf, and that one there was gone. Uh, <laughs> that was really very straightforward. This is still the, the completely standard golf, and yeah, that one there's rolled over, and. That didn't take too long, so since, well, yeah, it, it's only sort of three minutes, four minutes into the video, we're going to try another one. Uh, it is the the Alfa Romeo Giulietta. Now, I will point out with this car, this one has been modified. I kind of lost the replay for the standard one, uh, but it wasn't very exciting anyway, because it just did practically nothing. So, the I had to upgrade this one. It has raised suspension. I can't remember if I stiffened it or not. Um, but yeah, only sort of minoring upgrading. Uh, I don't know why this one here was so tricky to roll standard. I mean, it's not... I wouldn't have said it was a massively different centre of gravity than some of the other cars we've had there, like the Golf. Uh, but yeah, this, this really wasn't interesting rolling standard. Have a second attempt again, and that's gone over as well. <laughs> again, very straightforward. Uh, admittedly, it did have to be a little bit upgraded. I love how it's just taken all the paint off the side of the car. Uh, the replay doesn't show it particularly fantastically, but both sides of the car have just been destroyed. At, well, not destroyed, the body panels are all sort of intact, there's a window missing, but the paint is just gone. <laughs> which is oh, lovely force of damage physics. Up next, it is probably my favourite hot hatch of the lot, the Honda Civic 
type. Oh, I think no, I, I think this is the EK91, but I've probably got that wrong, and people will shout at me because I can't remember. I don't care about Japanese cars, engines, and models and stuff. Um, it's, it's a Civic. Uh, it's a really, really nice car to drive. This one. It's a fantastic car to drive. This is one of the ones that I was expecting to have trouble with, actually, because as you can see, it is fairly low to the ground, and it is a fairly low sort of car in general. I can't imagine the centre of gravity is particularly high in it, and that's probably why it's such a nice car to drive. First attempt. And, well, it was looking quite promising. Well, this had a similar problem to the Subaru with the bodywork. This was uh, catching sort of on the ground. So there a few more attempts, nothing really that interesting happened. And then, kind of, yeah, that was the most pathetic roll I think we've ever had. But it did fall over. Uh, also, if you touch the brake while the car's on the side, apparently it self rights itself. Uh, which I didn't know. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why it's that sort of move. So the Civic, that was, again, fairly straightforward. I mean, there's only a few attempts in that one. And then when we come to the final car... Uh, dear. This is, I'd say this is probably Daniel's favourite hot hatch, uh, and the one we named as, or he named as his favourite sort of old one. It is the Golf GTI Mark II. Um, this one wasn't fun, I'm going to be honest. Or, uh, I mean, it's mainly to do with its speed. Um, while all the other cars are sort of C class, I think all the other ones have been C classes. Oh no, the Abarth was a lower one, but that's taller, so, and fast, a bit faster than this. Um, yeah, all the other cars have had a relatively large amount of speed compared to some of it, or compared to this, anyway. And this has very soft suspension. I I guess it's because it is a little bit older, it doesn't have all the fancy sports suspension like the modern cars do. And com combine the sort of two together makes it sort of not really want to roll at all. Um, this is, yeah, the, you can just see, it's, you're going around the curb, you hit the curb, and maybe it kind of lifts a couple of wheels off the ground, but it's, no. I mean, would this thing roll standard? I don't think it would. I don't think if I, I could have spent forever. I honestly didn't spend very long with this car, because after a few attempts, you can see, no, it's ne never going to roll. Uh, handbrake on the grass, you probably would roll it. That was the best attempt I had with it standard. Uh, off a curb, no chance. I really don't think it would. So it was to the upgrade shop. Yes, it changed colour. I forgot what colour it was, so I've got a white one. Uh, so it's just the suspension was raised. I don't think it was stiff, and I can't remember. And we go around the corner for the first time, and there we go. The Golf has rolled. And it's a fairly spectacular roll for the Golf. Um, so yes, there we go. We have rolled many front-wheel drive cars today. Uh, and yeah, they were all fairly straightforward. Now, next week... Um, I'm going to give you a choice, because <laughs> I can't decide what to do. Either we can carry on with these these sort of themes, and I would probably do British cars, uh, or I could go on Grid 2, and I could try and do sort of like most spectacular rolls, because it's very easy to roll cars in Grid 2, uh, but I could go for sort of aiming for some spectacular rolls on there. So, yeah, leave, leave your comments. Which one would you like to see? Would you like to see some British cars rolled? And if you would, leave which cars you would like to see. Out of them, or would you like to see some cars flipped in grid too? I think there are replay cameras I can kind of figure out and work around, and I can get that working. So, yes, leave your comments, and then who knows? We may be on a different game next week. However, that is it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.